You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters, we're going to talk a little bit about UFC fighter Sean Strickland. As we know, he's one of the most based, level headed athletes there is out there. He's pretty pro country. Uh, and, well, he's very common sense. And he has come out, and he has slammed the National Football League over their statement where they would not back Chiefs kicker Harrison Bucker. Now, as we know, there's dueling petitions out there over Bu Bucker. The, the Wokes want Bucker off the Chiefs and out of the league. And then there's a lot of level-headed people that are like, no, let the man stay with the Chiefs and stay in the NFL and continue to make a living because all he did was give a commencement speech at a Catholic school with Catholic ideals in his speech. I'm still really shocked by the level of outrage over this. I think it's a nothing burger. I don't get it. Uh, but this is a society where perpetual and continuous outrage is uh, just where we're at. And uh, everybody on the left, the left literally wakes up and they, they start combing for things to get offended by. Well, USC fighter Sean Strickland blasts the NFL for not standing behind Bucker. And of course they're not. I mean, the NFL has sold out to the woke left years ago, starting with Kaepernick. So, UFC fighter Sean Strickland bashed the National Football League for refusing to support Kansas City Chiefs kicker Harrison Bucker, who is under attack from extreme left for his commencement speech touting traditional Christian ideals. The Chiefs player is under a searing attack from the left for the commencement address he delivered on May 11th at the uh, Benedictine College, a private Kansas-based Catholic college. Uh, I still don't see the issue here. During the speech, Bucker urged the male graduates in his audience to embrace their masculinity and asked the female grads not to ignore having a family. Uh, it is something that's a concern to a lot of people, certainly the uh, destruction of actual masculinity in, in, in society today, it's, it's scary. It really is. It's like you do realize that these are the firefighters, the police officers, the military men, all these alpha males that you're trying to crap on. Uh, they're the ones that are, are saving our ass when this shit hits the fans. Many on the far left have lined up to take pot shots at the Super Bowl winner, but the NFL refused to stand up for Bucker's right to his opinion. Worse, one NFL official even came out to attack Bucker, and the league said nothing to that, leaving it only as a league official stance on Bucker's Christian values. In case you're wondering what that was, uh, this is what was said. Uh, on This was uh, a few days ago, in fact, uh, the 15th. On Wednesday, in a statement to people, NFL Senior Vice President and Chief Diversity and Inclusion Officer, <laughs> that's all you need to know, Jonathan Bean clarified Bucker's values are not the NFL's. Yeah, if it was, the NFL would be a lot better organization right now. Harrison gave a speech in a personal capacity. Bean wrote, his views are not those of the NFL as an organization. The NFL is steadfast in our com commitment to inclusion, which only makes our league stronger. Uh, so, does inclusion not include Christian values? I mean, that's blatantly what they're trying to say there. Let's be honest. Uh, so, let me scroll down here. It appears that the response by the NFL official angered UFC fighter Sean Strickland. And we've done a bunch of videos over the last four years on Sean Strickland and just how he feels about things. And generally speaking, he's based AF. I mean, he's, 
He's very raw. He's very real. He p- pulls no punches. And we all know, let's let's be honest, there's a uh there's definitely a run in society to get rid of alphas. So, this is what Sean tweeted out. When did the NFL become such spineless cowards? Uh let me tell you, Sean, 2016, okay? When they didn't come out and absolutely crush Colin Kaepernick into dust. And then, of course, when 2020 came along, the NFL just fell right off the rails. I mean, full Marxist, Black Lives Matter, the whole nine yards. Uh, Man plus woman equals marriage. Nothing else. Text, history, and tradition, it's that simple. Quote, it doesn't matter who cares who can get married. Saying that makes you a weak man. They want you to say that. Have beliefs. Now, Strickland's point is, look, if this is the way you feel that the marriage should be between a man and a woman, then that's it. Stand up, say it, don't back off of it, and tell people that don't like it to piss off. I mean, honestly. I mean, seriously. So, he would go on and... uh further go into this there's not one ounce of me who hates gay people if you're gay be gay be happy i wish you the best but that doesn't mean i have to bend the knee on every social issue designed to destroy america and masculinity you can be against gay marriage it's okay you're not a bigot in that fell so he he literally crushes the nfl into the dirt on this issue for not backing their player but look I, I would have been shocked if the NFL had backed him, frankly. Honestly. I mean, as far as people actually in the league, there's been, I think, just a couple of personalities that have actually come out and had Harrison's back. One was his teammate, Chris Jones, and I give him a ton of credit for it because I still, as of yet, I've seen nothing from Patrick Mahomes or Travis Kelsey. Now, I mean, Mr. Pfizer, that doesn't shock me one bit. I mean, he's carrying Joe Biden's bags right now, as far as I'm concerned, on the left, him and his little girlfriend. But Patrick Mahomes, I said it the other day, he's from right here where I'm at, 45 minutes away. It's a very red area, and his actual mother is a Trump supporter. Uh, I mean, where are you, Patrick, on this? Not having your teammates back, you could have made a massive statement in backing your teammate, and you're a coward at this point, as far as I'm concerned. Sean Strickland, I give him credit once again. Sean's not pulling any punches. He doesn't care about your feelings. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you raw and real. And, yeah, there's absolutely a movement in today's society to knock down real men. Well, guess what? When the shit hits the fan... You're sure as hell going to want a bunch of Uncle Jesse's out there defending your ass. That's all I got to say about that. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.